We're back at it again today at Volunteer Garage. This is Jay. I got this in the mail already. This is going to be like a little console piece. I'm going to put my oil pressure gauge in right in there. And it's going to go in here. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I dropped it. I'm going to set it in somewhere right, right in there and bolt it down. That way, when you're sitting somewhere right in here, you will be able to see oil pressure. Your oil pressure gauge down there in that little pot. I wish I would have got the taller one, but oh well. Be a whole lot better. And as you can see, I got the engine removed. I did that the other night. The other evening, I came home from work. There's only four bolts and my throttle cable. And the whole thing just slid out. I'm going to order a new uh, seal that goes on the transmission while I have it apart and, and everything. Get that done. But you can see right here all these little grooves all the way around through there from my flywheel that, that rubbed it back I guess whenever but anyway I got a lot of stuff done to it since the last time you guys seen it I didn't shoot a video uh, last week because I had a lot of stuff going on let me turn this thing off oh, humidifier off I had a lot of stuff going on last week I had a lot of mowing to do I did I mowed all weekend it was, it was awesome let me tell you but um, today we're gonna be back at it again uh, this weekend I want to try to get this thing finished up sanding I got to sand inside here and get all this stuff sanded I cleaned out all this the other day I'm gonna get all this inside here sanded and get it ready to go for paint and grind down these little corners right here as you can see where the old seat was I'm gonna grind down all those and take it out of the brake stuff and I got one spot right here I need to sand uh, right there get that putty sanded down and should be ready for paint, I hope. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's get started. Well, I got the brakes off. I got all the brake lines, everything off. Um, I put my pedals off, all that back. I sanded all inside here, battery box, a little battery tray, whatever, all that. All the way up to right here. I got to grind down these little notches again, like I said before. I'm going to do that tomorrow. And I'm going to fix these little posts and get those ready. Got this sanded, still wet. I got all that sanded, and I got to wet sand this rack right here, and it should be ready to go. Oh, and I got to wet, I got to sand, spot sand that right there, and prime that. But hopefully tomorrow we'll be doing some paint down. It's raining right now. I'm gonna turn the humidifier on, let it sit overnight, and tomorrow's supposed to be a really nice day. It's supposed to quit raining here in the next 15 minutes, so. I'm hoping the humidity goes down. It's only at 50% uh, today, so hope. And they said tomorrow it's supposed to be low again. So, it's low humidity and it's sunny out, and the dew point's low. We're gonna be right out there painting, right in that area. I'm gonna shoot some paint on this thing. I think I've decided just to keep the front end on it and just tape it up. It won't take me very long to tape it up. I might even I'm gonna take this bar off too. I might, I'll do that in the morning too. But I got the paint for it. I went ahead and got that made up. Here's my color I'm going with. I gotta go get more though. I don't think I got enough. It's gonna be close. That's the color I'm going with. It's a 2013 to this year, 16. Astroil or something like that, blue BMW color. Looks good, it looks really good. That's, I had that same color or color like it on, on here before, but it was a, older version of it I guess it was lighter I can't remember the name of it I think it's the same name but it's just a lighter color so I'm going a little bit darker I don't know we'll see I really like the blue on this thing I don't know why I think blue looks good and I already got an orange vehicle a red vehicle a wolf and two white and I just want a blue so that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow hopefully if everything goes right I got paint on me I wiped it on me damn it but anyway hope everything goes right We'll be spraying this thing tomorrow morning ish, somewhere around there. I'm gonna get I'm gonna go get some more paint mixed. And we'll go from there. Anyway, we're back, day two. Um, I'm gonna finish up getting the steering brakes or hand brakes, whatever you want to call it, fixed, finished. I'm gonna weld a few spots down here that that I'd never filled in. I got a gap back behind this side I gotta fill in. I'll get that done, we'll grind that, clean that up, and I gotta sand these tubes and I gotta clean up down here where these other where the seat mounts used to be, I welded in. I got to grind those down and sand all that, and that should be and it should be ready to go. I've already pulled the uh, front bumper off this morning, 
front bumper and I already cleaned off all this started taping it it won't take me very long to tape all that I'm just gonna leave the front end on it it'll be a little bit easier because some of these bolts are kind of rusty and they don't want to come out and I don't feel like fooling with it fighting with it so yep that's where we're at we're gonna get started hopefully we we'll get some paint laid today on this thing okay so I got a lot of grinding done I got the seat parts all ground down I got a bunch of stuff sanded all back through here went over it again I spot primed everything I'll have to wet sand that I had to do a little pot putty uh, over there and I got to do that right there and we'll be ready to clean it up and paint I'm going to drill out the front rivets up here so I can wedge something in between there and I can get all that's just dirt I'm going to rake out all that dirt and everything so I can tape all this off really good but we're moving right along I'm going to take me a break and eat some lunch so I'm starving all right and we're back uh, been working on it as you can see I did re ended up removing the uh, floor pan there it was not as hard as I thought it was going to be some of those old rivets were just old rivets they were in there from a long time ago but I took the shifter out took the floor pan all the way out I sanded all underneath there on the bottom side of the tube there's rust underneath there so I sanded and primed that it took forever so I don't, I don't know I don't guess I'm going to get any painting done today unfortunately but I removed the starter as well and got that got that ready to go I sanded all that got it ready to go and I guess I'm just gonna be waiting I'm gonna try to do it maybe one day this week and get it painted it sucks because today's like the perfect day it's low humidity there's hardly any I think it's like 50, 49 percent it's never happens here in Tennessee but anyway I guess I'm gonna call it a video for today I'm done I, I'm kind of worn out been out all over this thing sanding and priming and blah 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 so anyway I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one.